Today I will show you how to integrate Tolji into a simple React app. First, install the Tolji React library using npm. Initialize the Tolji instance and use the Tolji provider to wrap your app with the necessary context. Now to connect the SDK to the Tolji platform, we need to create a project and obtain credentials. We can easily do that in the integration section, where we can create a new API key and then just copy credentials into an environment file. This way Tolji SDK can communicate with the platform directly. When Tolji SDK is connected to the platform, we can use it to translate strings in our app. I recommend using an ID like keys to mark each string, so it's resistant to changes. We can translate simple strings or include variables if we need to. Now comes the real magic of Tolji SDK. Open your app and hover over the strings while holding down the Alt or Option key. If you click the highlighted string, a pop-up window will appear and you can translate the string directly from your app. You can also attach screenshots by a single click. Pretty cool. The translated keys are now accessible in the Tolji platform, so you can forward them to your translators. They can translate your app comfortably from the platform itself with all the necessary context and assistance tools like translation memory and machine translation. We still need to implement a language switch, so we can see how the app looks like in different locales. Let's create a simple select component listing all available languages. To subscribe to the language change event, we include the use Tolji hook. We can then connect the select component to it and enable language switching in our app. Last thing I want to show you is to how include the translation files for your production build. You don't want to rely on Tolji platform for your production, so we recommend exporting translations from Tolji and bundling them directly with your app. To do this, we install a Tolji CLI tool. First, we need to authenticate with our API key and then we can run a pool command to export the translation files into our desired location. To load local files into the Tolji SDK, we add the backend fetch plugin. The communication with the Tolji platform and the in-context translating that you saw earlier is secured by the DevTools plugin, which is automatically omitted in production build. This ensures that only your local translation files are used in a production version and the bundle is as small as possible. I don't know how about you, but I find this pretty neat. We can now conquer the world with our localized app. Thanks for watching and happy translating.